Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm making this intro, uh, you know, probably a week after I made the video. Um, because I'm really bad at making outros. So at least you guys get an update with the cars. My car, just I just got a call in from my insurance saying the repairs are close to like five to six thousand dollars. I don't know how it got up that high. Last time I called it was three to four thousand dollars. Um, then they found some more things They made it five to six. That's including like actually getting the right diffuser because you guys know that I got an aftermarket diffuser. It's not even the one that comes with the MTech bumper. And that's including wrap painting and wrapping the bumper after you know all the body work and stuff. We're discussing what's going to happen with the car. We're trying to figure out whether it's even worth it. Yada yada yada. So that's like the you know the update on my car, the Z. Got a lot of things going on with the Z. Just got it back from a drive. It runs really good right now. Um, I'm gonna have a separate video just pretty much addressing that in the near future. But in the meantime, guys, we did give my brother a bumper and we're gonna be showing you guys in this video how we installed it. Very, very, very easy. And as you can see, also on my brother's car, the bumper came off really easy. So without further ado, let's just get into it. All right guys, so once you do that, once you go ahead and get all the screws out on the bottom, you're gonna go ahead and pop up the trunk, take out both tail lights. So just go behind there, um, there's three bolts for the tail lights, so we'll show you guys how you do that real quick. So my brother's exposing the tail light now, there's just that cover on it. And then after that, there's literally just three bolts. So three bolts, take out the light as well. Same goes for this side, this side's a lot easier. Probably see your battery, you just take that out. And then you got three bolts and you got your cable. Now when it comes to the top screws, you have this guy right here is a flap. You want to pop open that flap, there's a screw right there. And same goes for that side. Pop open the flap, get the screw out. And then that should release tension right here. Once you get these headlights out, there's some clips you can pull up and pull out. And then there's also one screw on each side. There's a screw right here. So what you're going to have to do is take up, uh, jack up the car and then uh, take out the screw that's underneath here. And uh, from, in my case, my brother's case, this side was the accident, so it's exposed the screw on this side. I can actually feel it. So you can screw it out, and then just go ahead and just gotta pull it out. Or you can just pull it out, I guess. Oh, wow. Well, this bumper's already messed up, so you can kind of, you can see there's no screw there. But yeah, that, oh, perfect. Okay, well, yeah, just like that, guys. So there's a screw right there. <laughs> and there's tabs that go all the way across. The tabs right here. This is gonna be a whole lot easier than I expected. Because this, this car has been in a wreck. So in my case, I had sensors for the rear. So when you take out the bumper, be careful because it might put straight on the sensors. Make sure you, un you individually unplug each one. In my brother's case, there's no sensors. He takes out the, the, the tail light. You should be able to pull the bumper up and out once you take out the screws in the bottom. <laughs> At this point, there is these clips sitting right above. Um, I don't see if you guys see that see that black like panel. There's that piece that's sitting in between the bumper. What you're gonna do is pull the tab up from behind the bumper and then pull them up around. So I have one person pulling up on the tabs and the other person pulling on the bumper. You guys see in a second. So if you guys look at it, there's some tabs back here you gotta push down on. And when you push it down on the tabs, it allows these to come up and out so you can pull it. So once you do that, that should just come right on out just like that as well. Make sure you take out those screws, like I said earlier. And then, you know, same applies to the other side. If you have sensors, like I said, make sure you bring it out a little bit, unplug the sensors, and then, um, you know, go forth with whatever the rest of the uninstallation you're trying to do. bumper just comes off so as you guys can see um, pretty much no connections in our case we don't have any rear parking sensors that just comes right on out honestly guys if you guys need a rear bumper that's silver that's like mint we can hook you up right Dion? Tabs are a little bit messed up, but I mean, like, it, it's still got the screw holes, everything else. It's gonna sit perfectly fine. If you guys need a bumper, hit me up, and uh, yeah, yeah just, just hit me up on my Instagram. So, yeah, my brother's super excited. As you guys can see, putting away stock bumper going M Tech right there. This is the diffuser with the 328 that's already, like, all together, which is perfect, which means he can always go a dual to dual diffuser in the future, but I think this will work out for him. He doesn't need to put much money into it, and uh, for, at least for now, it's gonna work. Alright, guys, so at this point, we're gonna put it, we're gonna go ahead and put the new bumper on it. Um, 
my bumper, I'm doing it. I'm gonna be giving away my bumper and my brother's bumper. We both have the stock bumper. So if you guys are on a recent accident, you guys need a bumper, hit me up on my Instagram. It's gonna be right here once again. Make sure you guys hit me up there for any questions, anything like that. Um, most questions that are repetitive that I get all the time on DMs, I end up not really responding to them because it's on my YouTube channel or I have it somewhere on my Instagram. So just make sure you guys look out for those because I get a lot of repetitive questions and I don't wanna keep accepting DMs and it just like gets a whole list and you know, notifications won't stop. So um, if you guys have something that's just going on with your car, I'll be, I'll be making sure to get back to you guys. Um, and if you guys are on the lookout in the local area for some bumpers, I'm not shipping these out obviously. If you guys need some bumpers, I have uh, one for the 3, 330i 2006 sedan and one for the coupe. So if you have a Cooper sedan and needs a bumper and you're local, come get it. All right guys, moment of truth, we're gonna slap on the M-Tech bumper. Oh my god. Oh, guys, look at that. That looks so good. So good. Can't wait to be doing a muffle delete on this, maybe even a conversion, but damn, that's looking clean. So we're gonna go ahead and put in the screw right there. Um, tabs all going in place perfectly. Never had screws on the side, so it doesn't even matter. I think the tabs don't even matter, honestly. As long as you get your screws in there, you're good to go. And here we are at the outro. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to smash that like button for an upload every two days. I'm gonna try to do every two days this summer just for you guys. So if you guys wanna support the channel, just by smash that like button, share the video or any sort like that, that'd be amazing. Every two days will be an upload. Uh, let's just see if we can get it to maybe this video. Like, eh, I don't know, 200 likes, 200 likes. Let's do 200 likes. If we can get this video to 200 likes, I might even upload the day after. So if you guys can kill with 200 likes, I might, I might upload it tomorrow, basically. Remember to stay humble, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Shawty hit my line and she's tryna get up on me I tell her like Habibti, that's too hot on my line He put where they are, I was raised with some mileage And everyone got a friend named Abdi I'm from OT 613